this video segment is regarding the vascular study at the mid epigastric region in transverse section. Uh, here you see this is the uh, this is the pancreas with sublinic vein. This one being its landmark, and uh, this is the superior mesenteric vein aorta IVC. Now. When I move the probe a little downwards and then angle it upwards, I see two vessels arising from the celiac axis. Now this is the aorta. This is the celiac. This is the aorta. This is the IVC. This is the portal vein. This is the superior mesentery artery. And now this one, this area, this small area, up to this one is uh, celiac axis, celiac artery, celiac trunk, and you can see there are two vessels arising from it. One goes towards the left. Now this is saprinic artery, and the other one that uh, goes to the right from the celiac axis is the common hepatic artery, and this sign is called the Siegel sign, S-E-A-G. Seagull's sign. Yeah. This is the seagull sign. Okay. That this is the celiac axis, this is the splenic artery, and this is the common hepatic artery arising. <laughs> Axis. This is the celiac axis. As you can see, this this and this is emanating from the air proximal aorta. Now, adjacent to it will be the supreme uh, superior military artery. Here you see this one. Now, this is the superior military artery. This is the celiac trunk arising from the proximal aorta. When I move the probe 90 degrees and then angle it upwards towards the patient's head, I get this transfer section of the aorta, the IVC, the celiac trunk, the splenic artery, the common hepatic artery, the, which gives the appearance of, this, of a seagull. So this is called a seagull sign. This is the portrovane. This is the one interior. Thank you very much.